There is more evidence that socialism and communism works to create human happiness and flourishing than there is for prayer. What's up? So this is part of a series where I take these little concise statements that I post up on social media where there's a limitation in characters and I think, okay, I'll post this up, get the conversation started, and then let's see what people do. Let's expand on it in the conversation. I know I, sometimes I'll post some articles or just expand on it, talking to the people and decided, hey, let me actually make audio versions and see if we can do that here on this platform, whether it's BitChute or YouTube, wherever this is. Okay, getting to one for today. Today, there is more evidence for socialism and communism working to create human happiness and flourishing than there is for prayer. And this is because I look at these kind of things as a religion. It's a metheist religion in a sense. Statism is a form of religion. It's wishful thinking. It's taking things on faith. It is ignoring actual things in reality and saying, if we were living in a reality where the laws, general agreed laws of reality, economics, and all these other things are suspended, then this can work. And there's actually more tangible examples from what I've seen of people that can argue that say, okay, look, this is socialism. Then you can actually go in and say, okay, that's not really what socialism is. That's actually coming because of the capitalist tendencies of this country. This country itself doesn't even consider itself fully socialist. It's not communist in that sense. Has it really been tried? And some will be like, okay, look at this failure here. And then some will be like, okay, that's not real communism. That's not real socialism. That's why that didn't work. But that's a similar thing you hear in prayer. People say, okay, these people have prayed about something. Oh, you have to pray in this certain way. And then look, this has happened because this person prayed for it. And then you look at all these other people that prayed. Oh, that's not really prayer. Those people didn't really pray. If you pray in this certain way, that's going to happen. And that's kind of what I'm talking about here in this sense. With that, there's actual physical examples. There's governments, the states, there's things you can look like, results, and you can say, look, I'm actually thinking that Denmark or Scandinavia is actually socialist and look at how they've worked. And I can actually try to cherry pick things about that culture and that society and ignore other things like homogeneity, like the size of the country, the location, the resources, the amount of defense that's being actually paid for that. If there's actually a positive growth in it or there's this growth coming from another system, how much of this is involved because those countries were not as damaged as the other countries during the World War II kind of situation. There's other things you can ignore out of there, but there's actual tangible results you can point at in reality and say, this is the evidence for me believing in communism, for me believing in that, in, um, what's it called, in socialism. There's a lot more books, there's a lot more information, there's a lot more things based on actual things that are agreed upon, statistics and things like that, testing, and there's economists, ec ec sorry, economists going back and forth and saying, okay, is this actually true? There's people who say, look, as a group, we are a social group. If we're together in a community, and don't you want people to be together and be loved and be have this communal kind of kind of these things that kind of I can understand why someone might actually have some kind of appeal to believe those things. Yet prayer, people still believe, oh, I can just pray and things can get better. Thoughts and prayers and things like that. No, <laughs> there's less evidence. There's actually more evidence. And then I posted this and somebody pointed out, it was like, oh, there's also more evidence for it not working. All those examples like Venezuela and things like that, and also just studying economics and understanding like this can't work. You actually have to have wishful thinking of the supernatural for some of these things to work. And agreed on that. But I'm talking about just the positive evidence. What is the actual positive evidence that you have for prayer to work? Just, it's an easy thing to test. Have two people pray about op opposing results. Somebody wants to get something. The other person doesn't want that person to get thing. How often does that person get the thing? And yes, somebody can go in and say there's a myriad of ideas behind it. How just for this person in their past? How do you set somebody who's exactly the same? But there's ways to test this and there's no evidence for it to work. Most people actually come down to it and I'm like, okay, I understand this about you. Who just say it's unverifiable. This is just a feeling. This is something that I have. This is a faith. And I think that's how most people actually approach socialism and communism, when it comes down to it. It's a faith. Like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.